Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Playdates and Travels. This is my channel where I talk about a lot of things Disney. I often include my kids, which is why the Playdates name. Um, at any rate, today I have a mega haul. I have stuff from the Disney store, I have stuff from Target and from Box Lunch. You name it, this is gonna be a massive haul. So I'm just gonna get right into it. If you like massive hauls, please give this video a like, keep on watching, and consider subscribing, it helps my numbers. And let's get into it. Now I'm gonna go into Disney store items and one of the first things I'm gonna show you is this shirt that I'm wearing. This is a Disney, oh, I've got a piece of hair on my chest. Ooh. But this is a like V-neck Disney shirt that has like Mickey donut and Mickey pretzel um, shapes all over. Actually, I guess it's not Mickey pretzels, it's just Mickey donuts in both pink and brown. And I just thought it was a really cute design um, and blue. And I had seen this online, it sold out and I was bummed. But when I went to my outlet, um, I happened to see this, it was on sale. I forget what the price was, it might have been $15 or so, which was a nice discount from the original price. So I said, yes, I will buy it. So I did got, buy this little uh, bad boy for myself. I also picked up this pair of rose gold ears. This is the Briar Rose ears that came out. This is like the second 2.0 version of the rose gold look. You guys can see what it looks like with the nice, um, um, it's got like a sequiny backer as opposed to the um, all sequin design that used to be for the rose gold. And then it has this like puffier bow in the center. So this was the Briar Rose ears and I did go ahead and get this from my outlet. Um, so. Uh, it was cheaper, they're $30 in the park. I believe those ears were $17. Um, the next thing that I picked up from the outlet was this particular hat. It says love in the front and it's purple and it has a Mickey and I just thought this was really, really pretty and cute. Um, I am a big hat person. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this or put it in my sale, but I did grab that just to have it because when I see cute hats on discount at the outlet, I know that I have to get them. I also picked up this Dumbo mug. I showed this on my channel that I was like, I definitely want this flying mug. I know I have seen this in regular Disney stores as well. So your Disney store might have this. It's not just an outlet item, but it has flying Dumbo all around and it was $9.98 and I just thought it was a really pretty mug. On the inside, it's gray. It's just a nice big mug, so I got it. Um, also at my outlet, this is when it's wrapped up. Let me take it out. They had this mug that had been on Shop Disney for like a day, not even a day, like an hour. I want to say two hours maybe, and then it sold out. And it was a brand new Winnie the Pooh mug. I'm not even the biggest Winnie the Pooh person. I mean, I have a Winnie the Pooh shirt that I love wearing. I have a Winnie the Pooh plush. I love, like, I liked it when I was a kid. I was never in love with it, but I have an appreciation for it, and I just think it's really, really cute. So the fact this has Eeyore and Pooh on this side, it's just a really nice design. It's got like the honeycomb um, all like dripping along the top. On this side it says something sweet and you've got Tigger with Piglet and a butterfly. I mean this just has so many dynamic features that are so cute in like this nice sketch style. And again this was a very very like limited time available mug um, online and the price was $17. But I haven't seen this since I first saw it online but somehow my outlet ended up with it, so I was like, I'm buying it. I need it in my life. Um, my daughter <clears throat> had been asking for the Anna Animator Collector um, series. She had the Elsa one from last year and was looking for Anna, had never saw it, but it was in the Disney store one day and she was like, can I please get it? You know I've been wanting it forever. And I said, you know, you're right, you have been. So I paid the full price, it was $20. I think I got it for, on sale for 17 or so, but pretty much still full price. And that is Anna and little baby Anna and a green dress and yes it's still in the case because I'm a mean mommy and would not let her open this and play with it until I filmed it so now I can give this back to her. She was like why do you have to film it? <laughs> YouTube life. Um, the next thing that I got is actually a spirit jersey. This I got for like $26. It was crazy. These things are like $65, $70 in the park. You guys can see it's like the blue one. It has a Disney D on the front and then on the back in like a green neon design. It says Disneyland Resort. Um, this is a size medium, yeah, this is a size medium spirit jersey. I usually get the small, but for this one, this particular one, um, felt a little, like, stiffer than some of the other spirit jerseys I have, or maybe it's just the, you know, the 15 pounds I probably put on since this whole quarantine series has started, so I needed to upgrade from a size small, um, spirit jersey to a medium for this particular style, so that's what I got. I also found this pair of goggles. It was on sale for three dollars and i was like my daughter was just saying that she needed new goggles the other day so these are little mermaid related ones and they had the little like seashells on the top so as a little fun design to put in the pool i did grab that for her because my daughter loves to go swimming um 
And then um, I also picked up a pair of socks. Can I see the price? These were discounted down to 50 cents. And I think these were an extra 10 cents or so, so or 10%. So this came out to like 30 cents for a pair of socks. I was like, come on now. They're aerial related, they're cute, and they cost me less than a dollar, like a third of a dollar. I was just like, check, check please. <laughs> I will take it. Um, the next thing that's in here is a receipt. Um, I also made an order online and was able to get a couple things from the website. One of the things is this new sketchbook ornament of Ariel on her bed. You can see she is like sitting in her pink pajamas looking oh so excited to be in Prince Eric's house. Look at the beautiful curtain detail behind her. There's Sebastian right next to her. They're on the um, the side. He looks very, very nice. And she just looks so animated. Can you guys see her face? I just think she's really, really pretty and I love her. And <laughs> this bed just looks very darling. So I had to get this one. It was $25 because none of the Christmas ornaments are on sale yet. But because it was Ariel on her bed and I don't have anything that's like this, I got this to add to my Christmas um, tree this Christmas season. I also made an online purchase. They had recently done the ink and paint key release and it was free with purchase. So as long as you paid $20. <laughs> you had to make a $20 purchase and then it was free. So I did order that ornament and then I was able to get this key. And you can see this is what the ink and paint key looks like got the whole sketch design everywhere and it's gorgeous. Um, I can see Captain Hook, I can see Mr. Toad, I can see the Evil Queen, I can see Pinocchio on this, Cinderella, etc, etc. There's a lot of detail going on in this little key. So I'm a huge fan of the Ink and Paint series and this key I knew that I had to add to my key collection. I actually have two of them because I made a separate online order in my husband's account bought $20 worth of merchandise there as well so that I can get a second key and to prevent them from delay, from canceling my order I had it shipped to his work address which we got. Um, glad I did that because my friend made an order and they canceled her key they said they were all out of them <laughs> and she never got her key so my second key I'm actually gifting to her because I was like that's just not fair that you just keep getting screwed from these online practices. So I don't have a second key anymore. I was going to offer it up in a future giveaway but my friend it was a need, so it's going to her, but hope you guys understand that. Okay, guys, and as I was filming, I realized I left a couple of things out from the Disney store, so I'm going to go through these really quickly. Um, I also got this from the outlet. This is a Jungle Book um, sketchbook and lithograph series, and the lithograph is below there, and the ornament is right on top. It has Mowgli and a baby elephant. I love that this is really, really cute and perfect for the um, Christmas season, so I love ornaments. I definitely had to go ahead and get that while it was on clearance. So that was item number one that I forgot to show. Um, I don't know why I forgot to show this. I think it was on the bed and I like was like whoopsie. But they had this like cool cool little hoodie going on and it says Disneyland 55 in like this retro font. I love the Hidden Mickey in the 55 and I love the colors on this. This is very bright and vibrant and it's thin so it's perfect for my weather which is just a little brisk but not too cold. So this was at the outlet as well, and I thought it was really, really nice, so I went ahead and grabbed that. This just came in the mail. It is a Mickey um, Ghost Plush. I'm so excited to see this online, and I was like, yes, I need that in my life. Let me take it out of the plastic that it came in. It says, I light up, place me in the palm of your hand. And this is the Mickey Ghost, looking oh so cute. You can see his little tail sticking out. I mean, this is adorable. On the back it says, Happy Halloween 2020. And I just wanted this for display purposes. So let's see how he lights up. How do you light up, my friend? I'm not 100% sure. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope that doesn't give anyone like effect. But there's a little strobe that comes out of him. He glows. I have a glowing ghost. <laughs> That's cute. So I wanted this Mickey plush pumpkin Miss Mickey plush uh, ghost because it's just so cute so I love that and he is definitely going to give like too much light off but he is orbing he's like a little orb and finally I show this on my Instagram but at the Disney store um, all over the country they're actually selling these Star Wars keys you have to go to the counter and ask them for it however they're not going to tell you outright they have them which is really strange but I just saw that my other Disney store did have them too they have like a little like sign saying Star Wars um, this is what the Star Wars key looks like. It was released on May 4th for May the 4th Be With You. Supposedly sold out online. People waited 
hours. My friend waited six hours to get this key and did not leave um, with one. However, all the Disney stores now have them, so it just goes to show you they're not really sold out. But there you go. This is May the 4th Be With You on the, the decal sticker tag. And yeah, I grabbed this one for myself just to have. And now I have a Star Wars key to add to my key collection. Yay, Disney D. And then last thing, of course, is this Stitch Easter um, bunny stitch that I mentioned in my last video and I got this from the Disney store as well They were on sale for like six dollars. So I was like no-brainer so cute and it has the Disney 2020 um, Stamp on his foot as well, but six dollars for a nice plush like this They're so soft and tie-dyed and very very cute. I have the Mickey one as well and many I believe my friend picked this up for me from the outlet I had previously owned a pair of these and I'd sold it But she saw this in the outlet and it was like, um, do you want it? And I said yes, please these are the Haunted Mansion Glow Ears for the 50th anniversary. Has the hitchhiking goes, and it's got this weird, like, tooth comb in it. It was $9, and yeah, she picked this up for me for me being able to pass this on to someone for a swap. So I do have that one to have a differentiated uh, ear <laughs> for Halloween thing I'm doing. Then she picked this up for me as well. This is a Mickey Mouse ornament. I didn't previously have this one, but I remember seeing this one last year thinking it was very, very cute. It does say Disneyland Park and Hotel entrance, got a bunch of presents, and Mickey and Minnie looking super skinny, by the way. Looking like they're on a diet, but this is an ornament. So, so cute. I mean, I love that it's on both sides, and I don't remember... Let's see, is this the price on here? The original price last year was $26.00. But my friend got this for five, so yeah, no brainer. I'm so glad she picked this up for me. This is definitely going on my tree this year. So cute. And I have some pins that she put into a bag. She's like, I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so I just put it in this bag. And I was like, that's okay, I love it. Um, we traded pins. I'm, I'm showing you a sneak peek of the other items. But we traded pins, and I gave her my Corella one for this Maleficent. She had an extra. This is from the villain set, and I just think this is so stunning. So. This one is for me to keep. Love it. The other pin that she gave me is this one, which is this Yzma pin. And she got this from the outlet as well for $6. I mean, crazy. I saw this one and I was like, yes, I love that this is Yzma um, from Emperor's New Groove. And it's a perfect villain's pin as well as traitor. And I'm actually going to include this in my Halloween box as well. My person's going to be very, very happy, I think. She saw these emoji um, pin sets. These were $29.99 originally, $30. And this is an Alani design. You can see it says Alani on the back. These Disney emoji pins were previously sold in Hawaii and they made their way to our outlet. So you've got Duffy and Stella Lou and Stitch, Donald crying, Minnie Mouse and Mickey and like Luau type of effect. So she had this for $10, plus I think it was an extra 30% off or something. Um, at any rate, 30% plus 10%, and I was like, yeah, done, sold. Let's do it. <laughs> um, finally, she picked up these Haunted Mansion sets for me, and it was like a six pin set for 10, discounted again from 33. So crazy, and I was like, no brainer, I want all the Haunted Mansion pins for my Halloween collection. And they're like Halloween Haunted Mansion Zoom Zoom pins. So adorable, love this style. And then she got this from the Dollar Tree. This is an LED string light, it's purple. I never saw these, so it'd be good to have in decor. And I was like, yes, I'll take one. It's my favorite color. So <laughs> that is how she spoiled me. Thank you again to my friend for getting me all these fun goods. And this last item is another ornament. It is a mirror, the haunted mirror, the magic mirror from Snow White. Oh my gosh, looks so scary. And it's really cool. So this is definitely gonna go on the tree as well. God, look at the effect on that. That's really unique. I was planning on wrapping it up with the outlet, but I just went to the Disney store yesterday, so I'm going to add this to my haul. Um, one of the things that they had in the store was this ink and paint apron. I talked about this before, and I wanted to get it for my sister for um, Christmas, so I got her an early Christmas present. You guys can see how gorgeous this apron is. I mean, my sister is such an apron person. She wears them all the time when she cooks in her kitchen, much more than I do, and I just really liked the different um, tones on here, I mean, you've got more faded colors on top and more like, you know, monochrome colors. Oh my gosh, there's Merlin. I love him. And there's so many different animated characters on here. That's beautiful. And then as you get further and further down this apron, the colors are just popping. So it goes from monochrome to very, very high tech. <laughs> um, 
what is it what they used to have Dolby Vision color or something back in the day but yeah so you have the colors in the bottom and there are just so many different characters on here so much detail oh my gosh there's even Splash Mountain um but yeah so you have all the different characters it was really cute and I got, did get this at full price but the price was uh, $22 and I wanted to get it for my sister um right now they are doing a special like 20% off for Disney Visa holder so I did get that, so a couple dollars off, but yeah, I had to get this for my sister, and I think she's gonna love this. Next big purchase, they had just gotten in some Christmas stuff, and I didn't want to bring in too home, home too much stuff, but I did have to get this. This is just ridiculous. Look at this. Look at the back. And then, do you guys remember this scene when they get married? I'm such a big Little Mermaid fan, and they had Eric and Ariel in the clutches of Sebastian in the shape of a heart arch. I mean, this is just adorable. It's purple and pink. I think this is a really nice ornament and I had to grab this even though this was full price I was like I need it in my life so new Christmas ornament then they have these pins these are the new holiday Christmas pins and they're so cute they say 2020 with the gingerbread man and gingerbread girl I'm such a gingerbread person it, with Mickey's they're just adorable to me over and all and I do like they have the little 2020 um, candy cane sign so even though it's a Christmas item another Christmas item I had to get it now because I think it's just adorable so that is the new pin from the Disney store, adorable. And this was $13. I mentioned the keys. My store did have the ink and paint key, the Pluto key now, and the Star Wars keys all behind the counter as well as the Pluto key pin, by the way. So I'm no longer ordering those from Shop Disney. I'm just gonna go in my store from now on. But they also had this behind the counter. I hadn't seen this online at all, but it is a Halloween bubble wand. My kids love this kind of stuff, and so I did, Splurge the $12 for this. I already taken off the plastic so that we could turn it on. You can see my son wants to turn it on right now. It has a little in the back. You can just turn it on with the lights. And it changes lights. And then, ready? You wait 20 seconds. <laughs> and then after 20 seconds, it starts to blow bubbles all over the place. So a Halloween fun surprise. No, We're blocking his head though. No. So, no. there you go. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no. How to get that for Halloween? Target has some fun things. So, I grabbed this elixir of an angry cat potion type of thing. Thought that'd be kind of fun for a Hocus Pocus video I have coming up. This was awesome. And then they also had this Halloween Zach like water bottle um, canteen for kids. I just thought that was a really cute design. It does say Happy Halloween on here. And this was fun. These both were found at a Target right outside of Disneyland, by the way. So I'm not sure if every Target has this type of merchandise because those stores actually have a whole Disney section full of licensed items I haven't seen anywhere else. So if you're ever near one of the parks, Disneyland or Disney World, go check out the Target and the Walmart near them. They have such cool finds. And while I was there, they also had a bunch of licensed pins for $5. I didn't buy any this time because I already had bought a couple from Florida when I was there in January this past year. But... I am going to keep that on my bucket list to go back because that is awesome. I got this from Target. It is a Cinderella's carriage um, pumpkin decorating kit. The idea is that you will use this blue paint that they included and you will paint your pumpkin blue. And then once you do that, you will attach all the different details to make yourself a nice blue Cinderella pumpkin. So I got this for this this upcoming Halloween. I'm thinking that could be a fun little like um, idea. I previously showed my last um, Disneyland vlog about the Hocus Pocus spirit jersey. There it is again. Just had to share that. I love this thing. Um, at Target, they had a bunch of Disney shirts, and I got like every single one of them. They had this Mulan one, so I did go ahead and grab Mulan. Glad I got this too because they were down to only a couple of sizes left. Um, so I grabbed that for Halloween. They had this cool like, oh sorry, it's upside down. They had this cool like tie dye version in purple with a bunch of Halloween type of figures. So I went ahead and grabbed this one as well. Each of these Target shirts is like fifteen dollars by the way, so it's not too bad of a price. These were selling out so fast; they no longer even have these, but they had these Hocus Pocus T-shirts. So I grabbed one for myself as well, and it does say. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus with the silhouette of each of their hairs. You can see Binks at the bottom, the cauldron, spiderweb, potions, skulls, all kinds of fun magical um, trinkets and whatnot. So this is like the coolest thing to come out at Target this year. In my opinion, I was so excited about that. Some other finds, I went to TJ Maxx and they had these um, Halloween duo pants. 
you guys can see all the fun little designs. It's very Halloween-y. I can't wait to wear this in an upcoming outfit. So I grabbed this pair of pants. I think it was $10. And then I also grabbed this from my Marshalls, this is my background, and it does say um, potions, spells, and brews in like a three-tier book style. You've got a black, um, <laughs> a black bird. He kind of reminds me of Maleficent Blackbird. And on this side you have a witch, so this would be part of my Halloween decor this year. This was a really cool little like feature. $10 from Marshalls, pretty awesome. I'll have to do a separate Daiso haul, but um, I got this Minnie Mouse Pez, this Daisy Duck Pez, and this Pluto Pez, as well as some um, Avengers ones and Iron Man and whatnot. Those are um, all from Daiso. I will do a separate Daiso haul because it would be too much to include in this video. But each of these was from Daiso, and my son, of course, already opened up the packages because he wanted the Pez candies. So these are released now. But I got this because I do have that monorail Pez holder, and I'm going to put them in and show you guys in that Daiso um, haul. So stay tuned for that in the future. This came in from Box Lunge. I believe it's just one pin. I got two 25% off um, coupons in there, and then the pin was sent in here. This was actually a pre-order that took a long time to come in, but it finally came in stock. And it's the Lady and the Tramp Bigfoot um, pin. Um, big, yeah, Bigfoot. So she has big feet, and it's Lady, and she looks oh so cute. I thought it was like a, like a fun, like, chibi style of pin. And it will go great with my Lady and the Tramp collection. This pin was $9. Again, I pre-ordered it, so that's the only thing that came in this little package. Last, I talked about the Funko store opening in Hollywood um, late last year, and they have so many cool things. They recently reopened after the pandemic, and I had to go in there and buy a number of things. One of them was this Jiminy Cricket purse. This is actually not for me. It is a Disney Loungefly wallet, and I have a friend that is such a huge Jiminy Cricket person um, that I really wanted to send this her way. I actually have a couple, and I'm thinking another friend that might enjoy this. But I saw this item, and... She's always looking for the new Jiminy Cricket <laughs> merchandise item. So you can see that there's a wallet. I'm doing it with one hand. Sorry, it's harder. But it just has his little face. It was cute. It was on sale. Um, I had to get this for a friend because she's always such a sweetie pie. So I did get this for her. When I was in the Funko store, they had a bunch of Pez's. I didn't even know they sold Pez. So there's a Pop Pez candy dispenser. I do have a monorail dispenser that I wanted to put out for Halloween. So this is a Sally one that I got with the little Pez candy. Um, you can see I have... This one is actually from um, Daiso. I have that in the wrong bo bottle, but they had Rocket. Then I also grabbed this Ursula Pez. I think she is a beautiful. This is definitely going to be in my Halloween display. Love this. Forgot I had that, actually. On the Funko store, I was with my daughter, and she asked me to get her something. So we picked out this Cloud Cat. Don't know what it is. It says Funko. She really wanted it because she loves, like, little mystery items like this so she's gonna open this shortly but yeah cloud cats <laughs> cloud cats can't say that word Ooh, tongue twister and then finally the item that i got i mean i got two pops i got the winifred um i got the sanderson sister pops for my hocus pocus uh collaboration that's coming up but i also grabbed this one it's a great mouse detective and it's olivia I love Olivia. I think she's so cute so i did want to get this for myself because i am such a great mouse detective fan and this was adorable. I think Olivia is just like one of the sweetest characters. And yeah, so you can see they do have other ones. They have Basil and they have Radigan. Radigan, oh Radigan. But yeah, I just got Olivia and I thought she was adorable. So that was my little Funko run. Pretty cool, huh? And finally, the last thing that I have to share is actually from a small shop. It is from Moonlight Lagoon. I have shared her ears in my channel so many times. Um, and I got a couple of stickers from her, so they are included in here. And let me just take them out. They're all Little Mermaid related, I believe. She had a recent ear sale and I just like bought all of them. So yeah, she put them between these two cards to keep them nice and pristine. There is a version of her Ursula ears. They look so cool. She actually makes ears that look just like this, by the way. And this is the sticker version, so of course I had to get that. Then she included one of her Ariel ears, one of them anyway. And they're really pretty with the crown, the mermaid crown, so I had to get that one as well. Sorry if my nail is blocking part of the sticker. That was a terrible, terrible holding job. And the last one is like Ariel in like a chic, like modern form. I love her little purple camisole, and then she's got a green skirt, blue leggings, little uh, camisole flat. So she's looking nice and fierce, wearing a pair of the ears as well. These are just so much fun. So I had to get these like three 
Little Mermaid related stickers. And that is my massive haul. If you watched it all this way, thank you so much. I had a lot to share. I can't believe I did all that. Phew, I'm gonna go rest now. So let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. Happy shopping to you guys. Hopefully I'm not encouraging you too much to go too crazy, but I know I definitely have been lately because I have nothing else better to do. So yeah, take care guys. I will talk to you soon. Enjoy your week. Bye.